Praise the Lord. Let my whole being praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with all my life. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. God is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. God is faithful forever and reigns with justice and righteousness. Welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for the 20th Sunday after Pentecost, October 10th, 2021. As Jesus was going out into the way, someone ran to him, knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Jesus said to them, Why do you call me good? No one is good except one, God. You know the commandments. Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not give false testimony, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. And they said to Jesus, Teacher, I have observed all these things from my youth. Jesus, looking at them, loved them and said, One thing you lack. Go, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me, taking up the cross. But the person's face fell at that saying, and they went away sorrowful, for they were one who had great possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How difficult it is for those who have riches to enter into the realm of God. The disciples were amazed at his words, but Jesus answered again, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter into God's realm. It is easier for a camel to go through the needle's eye than for a rich person to enter into the realm of God. They were exceedingly astonished, saying to Jesus, Then who can be saved? Jesus, looking at them, said, With people it is impossible but not with God, for all things are possible with God. Peter began to tell him, Behold, we have left all and have followed you. Jesus said, Most certainly I tell you, there was no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or fathers or mothers or spouses or children or land for my sake and for the sake of the good news, but they will receive one hundred times more now in this time houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and land, with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. These are God's words, and they are for us God's people. Thanks be to God. Someone ran up to Jesus and wanted to know what they must do to inherit eternal life. Whether this, question, whether this person was speaking literally or figuratively is not said. Jesus quoted the Law of Moses, several of the Ten Commandments, in fact. The person responded that they have indeed followed the Law of Moses since childhood. Then Jesus did something unexpected yet again. He told this person to give all their material wealth to the poor and to follow him. This was a person of means, and they couldn't do it. They left, empty-handed and broken-hearted. This is the part of the Gospels where Jesus gives the famous line about how easier it is for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter God's realm. Every one of us could be the person of means in this story. It's not about wealth. It's not about power or influence. It's about how willing we are to put Jesus first. How willing we are to put Christ's message of God's love, that God's love is available to all people, ahead of 
everything else. The truth is, most of us can't do it. The disciples challenged Jesus about this. Who then can be saved? Jesus reminded them that through God, all things are possible. Peter wanted to build himself up by reminding Jesus that he and his fellow disciples did just what Jesus asked. They literally gave up everything to follow him. Jesus took this opportunity to remind them and us that about the first being last and the last being first. Following Jesus is not a contest. If we want to follow Jesus, we need to demonstrate God's love in the world. The most practical way of doing so is by sharing our resources, what we have, with others around us. We trust that when we do so, God will provide for our needs too. It's a step of faith that we all must be willing to take. Happy Thanksgiving in all God's many and wonderful names. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and wondrous God, we confess that we never seem to have enough. We desire to have more. We pursue what we do not have because others have it and we want it. We push ourselves to extremes, ignoring the poor, the oppressed among us, those whose voices have, we have marginalized in order to assure ourselves of worldly success, security, wealth, and notoriety. Forgive us for our selfish ways. Lead us into your wisdom to pursue justice and righteousness. Guide us in your way of generosity to a spirit of abundant love and care for those in need among us. Hold us to your truth and help us repent where we have gone astray to the ways of the world instead of following your way, your truth, and your life. Through Jesus Christ, who laid down his life for us, it is in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Our cup runs over in the house of God. There is always more than enough for everyone and just enough for our daily needs. When we love, care, and serve one another, we serve Christ. Know God's ways, trust in God's truth, and be assured that you are forgiven, loved, and restored. Go and share the good news. Amen. And we pray all these things in the name of Jesus, saying, O God, our divine parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies and inspiration for our spirits. May the forgiveness we give be that which we receive, the kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. For your world is our world, and your reign our reign, then, now, and always. May it be so. God is with us. Let us lift up our hearts, yes, lift them up to God. Let us pray. Most loving God, we know that you are with us no matter where we are, no matter how we come together. We remember now how after the meal, you took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to everyone there saying, this is my body given for you. 
We remember now how after the meal you took the cup and blessed it too after the manner of your people and passed it among your friends saying, This is my love poured out for you and for everyone. Whenever you do these things, remember me. And we remember too the mystery of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Loving God, we give thanks for the opportunity to meet, for we know that whenever two or more gather in your name, even virtually, you are with us. Be with us now as we wait out this trying time, so that when we can go back outside, when we can get back together, we can be your love and your light in a world that so desperately needs it. In all your many and wonderful names. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Your support, your thoughts, your prayers, you're watching these videos, you're clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below, and of course your financial contributions are all greatly appreciated because they enable us to continue this ministry. We hopefully will soon be able to meet again in person, but until that time, may the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us now until we can meet again. And all God's children said, Amen.